But you are an idiot. Bitch. Ooh. It's always on the roof, too. They always fighting on roofs when they fight Shredder. Oh, yes. You know what it is. For only $12.99 a month, you can have something like this on your shoulders. But our love is different because our love is worth way more than that. But yes. Yo, what's going on, you guys? It's your boy RBG, aka the Random Black Gamer. This is my lovely wife, Janet Lee, who was all on the cuddles and twos. Sure, and this is V8 CD reactions. I'm like, I'm gonna need my twelve ninety nine a month for the last five years. Oh shit. Well, I'm how much money is that? Let me see. Don't even calculate no. that. Go no, ahead. because no, I don't no, want you no, putting no. me in the debt over nothing like no, that. No, no, I no. I need to know how much. Mm -mm. Go ahead and do the. Do what you trying to tell me? Do random pockets. Twelve times five equals sixty, right? Mm -hmm. So if I do sixty times twelve ninety nine, you owe me seven hundred and seventy nine dollars and forty cents. I already have given you all that. No. Shit, that damn whatever that elliptical back there, that's worth damn near that much. No, it wouldn't. So yeah, but anyways, guys, uh, yeah. We're ready for some more TMNT 2012 reactions, man. Um, last episodes were very fun, man. And we really love all these different lessons mm -hmm. that they give, man. It's like each turtle has a lot of growing to do. And um, Master Splinter, I like how he just inserts himself. He don't even be inserting himself. He just be going about his way, trying to get through right? the day. And they be like, Master Splinter, I'm having trouble learning how to do a super ultra mega kick, kick, kick. Right. And I can't figure it out. Exactly. Well, son. You must first, you know, he just right? puts on your ass anyway. See, were you expecting that? Exactly. It's like, do you ask an eagle how it flies? No. Right. Or a dolphin how it flims? No, because that's what they were made to do. You know, it just sounds like some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? He just, Splinter, I like this one. You know, he he's he's good where he needs to be. And I'm pretty sure he's a capable fighter up in this because he just looked super imposing in this compared to the other ones that are a lot more like, brittle looking and frail right I don't, I don't know this newest uh teenage mutant ninja turtles i don't like the way oh, he's talking about rise looking. a lot of people hate rise because splinter is like a fat couch he potato. is a fat non-mobile person yeah that one's been getting a lot of controversy because of the style and the direction you know especially that can turtles the turtles themselves aren't even the same species which is a red-haired slider what a lot of people are upset about something Oh yeah, April. Yeah. I don't know if I'd be upset about April. She's similar to this version where she's a kid. Like I think the oldest one is the '80s version, if I'm not mistaken. Or if you want to include. Shit, they was upset that she was black. Judith Hope. Well, yeah. Shit, just, that's what they was upset about. That I guess that too, but shit, like like I say, gen, like like race bending isn't new to Ninja Turtles. It's like look how they did Stockman in the '80s. They made him white. They made this nigga like check it, check it from Rugrats. No, but that you know how people be thinking. They think that's okay. Yeah. If if we gonna gender bend them that way, it's all right. But if we gender bend them, yeah, not gender bend. Well, shit, shit, that too. But no, nah, uh, race bend them that way, it's okay. If we do it the other way, yeah. Boom. But anyways, man, we ain't have no time to do the recap. We was on some. We didn't even need to do the recap. You over here about some twelve ninety nine shit? I'm trying to get up. Cause you this. said twelve ninety nine. I ain't say nothing like that. Y'all rewind the tape. Anyways, we gonna go ahead and jump into this next episode, which is episode you. eight. Rewind me then. I got the rewind button on my nipple. <laughs> but anyways, guys, yeah, we gonna jump into episode eight, which is titled "Never Say Zever." Oh, I like that. So it's gonna be with that black dude. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into this, man. I will take orders from this gutter trash. What? Well, what do you mean? <laughs> Unless you want me to. That's right, man. Get him in check, I want Sensei. To put the word out on the street to watch for the turtles. And when I find them, I'll peel them out of their shells. Well, I'm like, what, what makes them gutter trash? Go ahead and answer that. Because mm. I think I know what you mean when you say that. No. <laughs> what are you talking about? We go out all the time. Yeah, but tonight you're going to do something besides hidden people. Aww. Don't worry. You're going to love this noodle place I found. And you're sure we'll be welcome? Oh, yeah. Mr. Murakami doesn't care what you look like. In fact, he won't even know what you look what, like. What, is he blind? He's blind. Of course. Oh, He's a Zadoichi. I mean, for us, obviously. God damn. This moral comedy whooping people's ass up in this shop? Wow. I think they own the streets around here. I think I remember these guys, the purple dragons. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> Got your dumb ass. Mm. Hey, you want to bitch slap my dude? Y'all run up in there. For real, hurry up. So much for not hitting people tonight. Oh, well. Yes. Alright, uh, I know, right? We don't want any trouble. We, on the other hand, do. Whoa, those guys were serious. They really are giant turtles. <laughs> You've heard of us? Dudes, we're famous. That's right. That's bad. Oh, right. Whatever you are, this neighborhood is ours. So why don't you slither back to the ocean you came from? You told me to ask on with that fake ass Kazuya scar you got on your chest. I suspect we're derived from the Diamondback Terrapin, but it's possible we're Tom and Bob. Got that Rapper's Delight plan? Ooh. 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 <laughs> okay, Triple H. <laughs> like you flipped them off. Yeah, Triple H just had to sledge him all the time. Ooh. There's some ramen? <laughs> I love me some ramen soup. I told this man for shop up. I mean, it wasn't a turtle. be a thug. Right? No, I'm about these people. These oh. thugs. <laughs> they killed Bill Death Punch on him. Bring it the fuck back here now. Don't, don't never come back here again, bro. If I see you up here again. And you gonna push me? You just let him go? What the heck was that? They weren't exactly a threat. They had enough. Dude, they were beating up a blind guy. Right. There's no enough. Now they'll think we're whips and we don't have the guts to finish the job. Shit, they shouldn't know y'all wow, exist. That was great, you guys. Thanks, April. Did you see when I caught the one guy and flipped him onto the counter? Did it look cool? <laughs> that cool. ah. You didn't see it, did you? No. No, I did not. I like when people be doing it. Like, like, yeah, I listen to it. Please allow me to make you a meal free of charge. How the that. fuck can he what cook? Is your favorite dish? Shoot, don't ask me blind people. Pizza! You seen Stephen Wonder and Rachel? I know, but they don't. I don't remember them cooking. They might have been cooking, but they're playing some music. I guess. Pizza. Oh, nice. What is it like? Filled with I would love pepperoni. to try that. <laughs> nice. Oh, that sounds really good, actually. Pizza gills. I'm going to look up a recipe for that. Man, fuck that raggedy ass noodle. Uh, Murakami san, do the purple dragons come around a lot? <sighs> yes. They demand protection money. But I refuse to I always thought that was so stupid. It's like, we're right? going to protect you, but we're going to also down. assault you and shit. Right? It's like, no, I need, I need to be protected from your ass. Damn. Those guys only understand one language. Chinese? No. Fists. What about feet? They understand little toes. Feet. Right. That would make them bilingual. Ugh. The point is, we can't go soft on them. To show mercy is not soft. It is a sign of true strength. There you go. But Sensei, they're criminals. This is war. A daimyo of the 16th century once said, In times of peace, never forget the possibility of war. In times of war, never forget compassion. Mm. I'm guessing that guy lost a lot of wars. Marvin Gaye once said, War is not the answer. You see? Mercy. <laughs> hey. Okay. Hey. That look clean. I like the 07 turtles. Can we get tattoos? I want to get one of my face on my face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all really did that. I just it's that Mickey Mouse Club, you know little Mark mean? Mikey. Yeah, dorks. There he is. Can you believe that's how they used to look in the old cartoon? Yeah. Oh man, this that ain't, that ain't nothing beat the old eighties one. They were serious in that one. Right now, nah, bro. Shit, they even look cleaner right there. Look how my boy Ralph just sitting there like, man, what's up? Right. You gonna jump on these mofos or what? We saw that gang of turtles you were looking for, and we'll tell you where for a price. 
Fuck your price. Shit. Man, this shit like it could have been a movie. Right. You really dirt bags. Mm. We can find them ourselves. Oh man, this is awkward. Y'all ain't in y'all territory. My ex friend. Yes. And that other guy. <laughs> name is Sever. So you don't forget, I'll write it on your shelf. He must be Afro Cuban or something. That's what I'm thinking. Is Afro something other? Afro Samurai. Watch out, bro. See what's ever finna do? Knock oh, shit. Knock it down the stairs. That's pretty bad. Hey, let's go. That man put the drums on your head. Alright, they got them steel toe cliques on. That's why. I would like to see them retract into their shells. That would be so cool. Yeah. Like, retract into their shell and slide across the floor and knock somebody down. I know they did that in the second live action movie. Or something. Mm. No, the second live action movie, not the second 2000s live action movie. Oh, the second ever live action movie. Yes. Ooh. God damn you, Chris Bradford. God damn, Diving Choke Slam? That's the Avalanche Choke Slam. Oh shit, Foot Ninja got up in this bitch. Boy, as soon as I be finna do my little sound, they turn uh, on. Right. Right. Turtles, fall back. We're giving up again? Are you kidding me? Yes, it's all part of my hilarious Let's All Live routine. Let's <laughs> give it up to our fearless leader, Leo. Hey, stay and fight, you cold-blooded cowards. Yeah. Where did you see those turtles? These villagers. Oh, he's Brazilian or something. Murakami's. We were roughing him up Who's and he jumped in to protect him. Because he does capoeira. <laughs> Big deal. How are you going to make sure the turtles don't get away again? Easy. I'll give them a reason to stay. He gonna kidnap April. Yes. It's like she be so out and about all the damn time. She just be leaving herself yeah, open. Yeah, she do. She just leaves herself open to be kidnapped. Big ass yeah. Ugg boots she got on. Oh, they kidnapped Murakami. Oh, wow. Someone took him How can I have a blind man? Sweet. Free knife. The no, dummy. <laughs> Mikey, oh my god, bro. You gotta love him. You want the old man beat us on the roof of the fortune cookie factory. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's bust in there and save Murakami. Not so fast. Think, Raphael. There's two words that don't usually go together. Mm. This is obviously a trap. Well, what choice do we have? Maybe we do need to think more like Sever. But Master Splinter said that- I know! But Zever crossed the line dragging Murakami into this. He's gotta learn that we can cross the line too. No more Mr. Nice Turtle. Yes! I never liked Mr. Nice Turtle. Mm. Mm. That's pretty- yeah. Ooh, Zebra's a jerk. We're here, Zebra. Now let the noodle man go. Sorry. There's been a change of plans. Mm. Actually, there's been another change of plans. I love it when a change of plans. He's gonna laugh in y'all face for this you shit. You let our friend go, and we'll let your friend go. It, that is no, not his friend. He's not my friend. I can't stand this dude. <laughs> right. I can't stand this ginger. Uh, we're not kidding. Okay, so stop or we'll toss him. Go ahead. He'll save me the trouble. That's what I thought. Attack! That's all y'all got. Little brittle asses. I do kind of wish they were robots, kind of like how they were in the 80s cartoon. They probably are. Oh, no. It's like all of them have the same workout regimen. They built the same. The damn purple ball head just standing there. What is he going to do? He's like, he can't. Nothing. Whoa, funky ass cleaver he got. Get your ass on. Cut him. Just cut him. No. You lucky to say Mariah's coming. Your ass with a Mentos. It's too many of y'all, man. Shit. Oh, y'all just had to double team on a teenager. Right? <laughs> See, Bradford? That is how you catch turtles. And next, 
I'll show you how to fillet them. Mm. You'd never have caught them without me, and you know it. That's definitely Mr. Krabs. It is. You better help him, man. He didn't save your life too many times. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's time to cut these turtles into little pieces. I don't think so. That's right, muchacho. <laughs> Oh shit, I forgot all about him. Oh, okay. I got him! Nice save, Mikey! Don't look down, Murakami son! Or, um, uh, listen <laughs> down! Don't listen now. He looks so clueless still. You're welcome! Got a to go on. plate. Boy, how did you. I do have all the senses. Touch. I thought all of them stink. Weird and scary. You saved my life. Who am I to complain? Ah, did you take a, a hug from Mikey? Hell yeah! I'm gonna <laughs> make Mikey my new son. Sometimes things Damn. don't seem like they go together. Actually, make a great couple. I need food. Wow. Man, I made number Tostino's pizza rolls. <laughs> <laughs> Say it. Okay. Okay. You were right. See? That was right, bad. because he showed him mercy, he ended up being there to mm -hmm. give him the damn uh, You failed me for the last time. This is unacceptable. No apologies, Master Shredder. I swear, next time we will enough. I shall deal with Amato Yoshi's disciples. Myself. Let's go! Shredder ain't finna play with these mofos, man. He finna come up in there and put in work. We're gonna serrate some steel and just kill. But guys, that was episode. What was that? That was episode eight. Never say Zever, man. Man, he shouldn't gonna... have said Zever because Zever couldn't get the job done. He like... couldn't. I don't even know why he tasked this fool. This is got some little steel toe boots and shit. You don't got time for that, man. Like you gotta get somebody right, real. Shoot. You better come uh, with some mutagen up in your system or have some ancient ninja skills when it kind of dealing with the Chris turtles. Bradford and his ever both seem to suck. Right. Chris need to go back to his little A-lister Hollywood shit or whatever. He might even might not be an A-lister. He might be on some Billy Blake shit. You better start telling sell some Tybo tapes. Chump. Boy, that shit. Right, that was the rage back then. <laughs> that shit will have you pass the hell out. For real, my mom used to do Tybo. But uh yeah guys, um this character, I guess uh what's his name? Mr. Murakami. He's gonna probably be a mainstay. Anytime the turtles wanna come back and get some traditional Japanese food with a little American twist to it, that's what they're gonna be getting. I would know. really pay a decent amount of money to try to 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 taste some pizza gyoza. That sounds like that's really good. Right, yeah. The only thing they missing is the marinara dipping sauce. Like, you get some of that with the, the pizza gyoza, it'll be on and popping in, or you get like some little Parmesan cheese to sprinkle on top of that thing. But yeah, man, um, I thought it was gonna be over for Mr. Murakami at first. But one thing I noticed, man, April, she just be out and about too much, man. Especially when it's trying to like yeah, she gonna get investigate. Yeah, she gonna end up getting re uh, kidnapped, or like whether it be by a crane or by Shredder's foot Somebody. soldier or foot ninjas. You know what I'm saying? But, um. Uh, yeah, I thought they was gonna go get her, but now they went and got, got Tim. Right. The, the damn chef. Yeah. And he just wanna cook some food. That's all he wanna do, man. He just wanna live his mind life. He, right. he got good smell and stuff like that. Know his way exactly. around the kitchen still. <laughs> you know? Right. But, yeah. Leo, he gonna have to step this game up too and stop being so lenient towards these villains. It's like in a way it works, but you gotta know when to make it work. Right, you, you gotta know, put a little you pressure gotta know on when. Man. Sometimes it'd be a villain. You gotta cut their head off, man. I'm sorry. Um, unfortunately, so, man. But anyway, I'll get at an A plus. Yeah, I'm gonna give it an A plus too, man. It's not like all these episodes gonna be A plus worthy because they're just written so well, and they're not too hard to remember the next time we record because I was able to just pick up everything that I had watched previously mm -hmm. from last week. So yeah. Anyways, guys, we're gonna keep it moving and grooving with episode nine, which is titled. The Gauntlet, FKA. But here we go, guys.
The Falcon from... And can't nobody else see that? Right. I know it's more people on the street in New York. People don't look up in New York. That's the problem. <laughs> she got to be dreaming. I don't think so. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. It has nipples. Okay, that was weird. Okay, I thought she was dreaming. We are about to take our ninjutsu to a whole new level. Oh shit, what she got made now? <clears throat> Last night, I figured out how to make ninja smoke bombs. <laughs> okay. What? Whoa. What I'm trying to tell you guys is they take a long time to make. So use them sparingly. I'm making breakfast. Who wants omelets? Omelets? No. <laughs> Wow. Uh, I think that was a rotten egg. Those aren't eggs, Mikey. They're ninja smoke bombs. Shut up. <laughs> hey. This is the best day of my life. How you can't though? Give Mikey shit. You can't. But how does that work, though? It just instantly just teleports them? Man. Seriously. All right, April, calm down. Are you okay? I am being hunted. Giant pigeon. <laughs> Why is stuff far fetched or hard to believe? Right, y'all got y'all, y'all ass. What about a monkey? A fucking black dude in a robot that? suit? A spider? Trying to hurt my April. Our April. <laughs> April. This is serious. I better get Splinter. We don't really need. Ugh. Oh, wow. You know, said you wanted to see me. <laughs> His talents were razor sharp. He would have torn me to pieces if he hadn't slammed into the glass. <laughs> Real. Yes, me. <gasps> Raphael. Clearly, Ooh. April is upset. Yeah, dude. That's so insensitive. Do you need a tissue? I think I'm okay. I'll get you a tissue. Yeah, he just want a reason to use these damn eggs. I don't have any tissues. Can I make you some soup? Stop it! It's a pigeon. What you know is dangerous to your enemy. What you think you know is dangerous to you. Mm. I fear you are all becoming overconfident. Sensei, in the past few months, we've taken down giant spiders, plant creatures, alien robots, and an army of ninjas. He just run out of fingers. We only got three. Mm, he gonna start using his toes and shit. That makes sense why they have three toes now. He's got three fingers. Why wouldn't you have three toes? Right. Wow. Is, not pleased with is that a Shiba Inu? Nor am I. Look like it. The terms have been lucky so far. Won't last forever. The next time we meet, I promise you. Enough! I am weary of your excuses. I will now destroy the turtles myself. That's right, even if I do have cataract in one eye. I am walking around in the big city, all alone. Oh, I sure hope no crazy pigeon man sneaks up on me. That would be the last thing I'd want. What are you doing? If you wanted me to be bait, act natural, you that idiot. Talk? Seriously. How do you know how bait talks? I know bait. You don't even know this motherfucker back. can even understand you anyway. Mm -hmm. Oh no, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Just totally defenseless against any I don't know hideous mutant pigeon guy who might happen upon me. Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> now. Okay, okay, I'll go. The fuck does he have on his body? Acne? wasn't good bait. I was just bringing her a message from her father. Oh. We were both guests of the crane. They poured some booze on me and turned me into this. Oh, wow. He must have been one of them roof dwellers to play with pigeons. Being turned into a pigeon. Mm. Actually, I started out as a pigeon. Told you the breadcrumbs would work. Wow. You got breadcrumbs? <laughs> the fuck? Right now. Is he like twerking on him or something? He was trying to shake him. Oh. To get breadcrumbs. He's like, I'm about to eat that booty. Out of the city as soon as you can. Save yourself. We're talking about actual bread, right? Mm. Yeah. Sourdough. Sourdough. So, let's roll. Hack into the 
system and see. They probably got a lot of criticism. They decided to just do that. You're with me, Mikey. Stay with Donnie. Why do I always get stuck with Mikey? Hey. I don't want him. And I'm in charge. Hey. Why don't make Raph take Mikey? Over my dead body. You know, I'm starting to think nobody wants to be with me. Mm. Fine. I'll just go off on my own. <laughs> <laughs> That's a closet. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Zach, I had to fucking you see where you're going when you do that. Um, huh. What's that button? Don't touch anything. My mom, when we go in the store. Mm. What's that one do? I don't know. What's that one do? I don't know. Mike, chill, bruh. I don't know. <laughs> Why is he such an idiot? Oh no, that's just Mikey, man. It's like, bruh, we are in danger. What are you doing? Huh? I'm in. You're nice. Hey, you do have Mikey to thank for this shit. Uh -oh. Leo, Rap! They planted a mutagen bomb downtown. They're gonna use it to disperse ooze over half the city. Oh, hi, Mr. O'Neill. Your daughter's really nice. <laughs> Okay. Ooh, good thing like. Okay. Let's get this stupid Have you tried this? Oh shit! That's the fire alarm, my dude. I know one wants to be with you. Oh. He didn't come over ready. Poor Mikey. What do you do? Like, he don't think. He don't. He's clumsy as shit. That's the reason why he can't think right there. His head just keeps getting slapped. Probably lost all his memories. Oh, she got a little saw blade at the end. Save the city. Gears of War. We can't leave him here. We don't have a choice. Damn. No. It's crazy. He was right there. Right there for the taking, man. We'll get him back, April. So, is Shredder, Shredder is working with the crank or he is not? I don't think so. Oh, yeah. He don't seem to be the one to try to do that. He don't want to be mutated. Mm -hmm. The fuck? A bottle rocket? <laughs> they be looking so useless when they robot form right. get destroyed. Hey! Oh, ooh! Shit, Mikey be on some other shit when he trying to get serious. Shit, they all do. Do not let Mikey anywhere near you. Please don't. What if we just push this button? Oh, don't you think you pushed enough buttons? Hey, man, mean green. Go to, you better go ahead and pull that green wire. Donnie, you're going to have to speed this up. I cannot work with all this pressure. <laughs> that might be a problem. Shit. These two niggas. Yeah. I'm kind of sick of looking at them. I am too. They, they became lackeys now. Mm. It's like at first they beat them up, and then after a minute they get their second win and then beat them up again or escape. When would you prefer to breathe your last breath? If that thing goes off, it'll wipe us all out. Yeah, I'd rather perish with honor and the living shame. Nigga, you gonna really be living in shame uh, when you turn into a goddamn uh, turtle. We're dealing with a couple of nut jobs here. Be quiet! <laughs> <laughs> green man. Go for the green. Please do. Making a reference back to Power Rangers in space. Nice. Guys, guys, Mikey. They didn't got their ass whooped. No. Can you want to go press the button the last time? Exactly. I like how he did that. Is that a lot of ooze up in that thing? I think so, yeah. If I'm going down. Is that what going down I'm with me? I'm taking you with me. What? No! I hear! Now, y'all just touched something that was animal related earlier in the episode. This is not gonna end well. This nigga touched the fish, and I think he touched something else. Why they would he? Probably wish they had it, it? Yeah, I don't even know why he would even think to do that. 
We kick the butts of the Krang and Shredder's top henchmen while defusing a bomb and saving the city. Yeah, we're not overconfident. We're just that good. <laughs> Cow up! Okay, well, what did they turn into, though? Your skills are impressive. Yes. Final boss! Hey, he's in his old classic comic book pose. That's the Shredder? Well, it's definitely a Shredder. Mm. Here is undoubtedly a fascinating story of how my old nemesis came to teach ninjutsu to four mutant turtles. Perhaps I would let one of you live long enough to tell it. You're gonna have to catch us first, mm. So long, sucker! <laughs> What? Oh my god. Alright, that one's on me. Woo! Nigga, it's been on you this whole time. It's like, you're the cutest one, but you are an idiot. Bitch. Ooh! It's always on a roof, too. They always fighting on roofs when they fight Shredder. Hey! Come on, Lee. I should've knew he wasn't gonna be shit. They had a hard time fighting Zebin, though. Mm. <laughs> oh my goodness. No. Hey. Sheesh. Where is he at? Hey. Let's go, man. Teamwork. Shell shock him if you have to. Like how much damage they can take before they It depends. Walk. Depends on the species of turtles. I know red ear sliders are kind of fragile because how small they are. Uh oh! Shit! Damn, how you move all y'all asses in midair? It's so stylized. I like it though. Damn! Ugh. Tell me where Splinter is, my promise your demise will be swift. Ooh, we got a third blade? Shit. What'd I tell you? Didn't I tell you this nigga gonna turn into a fish? What is this? <laughs> what Chris Bradford did turned into? Oh yeah, the she be even be touched. <laughs> I think we define that word differently, Sensei. Few have ever faced the Shredder and survived. He was just so fast. It was like he was everywhere at once. You were right about us being overconfident, Sensei. There are some things we're just not ready for. Perhaps. But that no longer matters. It is clear now that the Shredder is a problem that will not go away. So prepare yourselves, my sons. Because as of this moment, we are at war. Mm. Hey, mm. <laughs> don't do that. Splinters in the past, Samurai Splinter. Watch, watch out. I don't know how that reminds me of Samurai Jack, y'all. Y'all been with shit turned red in the eyes. But y'all, man, it's like shit really about to get real now, man. Me too. I knew as soon as Shredder stepped on the scene in like a little fight scene, them niggas gonna fight in like an epic location, which is always rooftop. Because you guys remember... Up in the, I think in the comic books, the Mirage comics, they fought on the rooftop. In the live action movie, they fought on the rooftop. Even in the um, 2010s live action movie, they always fight on the fucking rooftop. Top of the rooftop. goddamn Wolf Hotel in this episode, man. Right. So, that was a good episode. Yeah, you know, they finally was... They weren't even really able to defeat Zever and... Chris uh, uh, Bradford. Right. So they, they kind of never... defeated themselves in a way because he, I don't know what he thought that mutagen was, or I don't know what he didn't think it was, but he decided to slash the damn glass and away they went. And now one of them was a fish. I don't know what you would think. Zever would have did something that stupid because Chris Bradford doesn't well, Chris seem like Bradford the idiotic type like the to do that in the group. I don't he know. seems like the idiot of the two, in my opinion. Yeah, I was like, there's no way this is going to end well. You guys are fighting on a giant canister of fucking TCR ooze or whatever. And he y'all is just going to just open the damn thing. Yeah, up. now he's a Shiba Inu. Oh, uh, yeah. A fucking, are they like the new version of Bebop and Rocksteady? Because that's what I'm getting off of this. That's what I was just thinking. <laughs> yeah. It's like, fuck the rhinoceros and the damn warthog. Let's just go ahead and make a, a giant 
piranha in a fucking I don't think Zebra's gonna be able to fight like that. Right, the last time we had a fucking dog, it was Razar or Razar from um, the live action movie TMNT, TMNT 2. They had Toka, which is like a snapping turtle, and Razor. That's who I thought, I think that, uh, what's his name, is going to turn into like Raph's um, pet turtle. I think he's going to turn into Ray, uh, Toka, <laughs> the snapping turtle, but I, I could be wrong. But uh, yeah, man, they also have another one named uh, Slash, too. It's out of them, too. Is it going to be Toka? Or is it going to be Slash? So he would have to go touch a person. He had to, had to touch a person or touch so Ralph. April it's like he already touched him. Ralph and then had a uh, mutagen get on him. I guess. And he'll become like a giant freakazoid turtle or something like that. A giant freakazoid now? Freakazoid. Freakazoid. Uh, but yeah, man. Um, the turtles, it's like Splinter told him. It's like, y'all getting too big for y'all turtle britches and belts and all your little wizards like gadgetry and stuff, man. You're too big for your shells, man. Y'all need to calm y'all asses down. Y'all think it's because y'all like won a few misses and shit I like that? I'd like to see a lobster. A lobster. Oh, lobster. Hercules. That would be kind of cool. <laughs> but yeah, they, they thought they had it. and I think they do have like a, another little not. fish character. That's a good guy. Oh, like like a, a giant stingray man. His name is Ray Filet. Just imagine some mutagen was actually real floating around and that carelessly where people could easily get mutagenized. Right. You better hope you touch something cool before you... <laughs> <laughs> it's like you didn't touch or you stepped on a roach earlier that you oh, was gonna kill. <laughs> but you don't have the best chance of surviving anything though. Roaches they the best survivors. They survive through a lot of stuff. You'd be a terraformer roach. No, I wouldn't want to be <laughs> a roach. Um I'll give that an A plus. I'm giving it an S, man. Like, I was thinking about giving it an S. Shredder, he came out the woodworks. I'm like I'm glad they were able to get a little bit of offense off. You know what I'm saying? But it just They didn't try. That's what I can give. They always try. They don't ever just back away, but they know when to back away if they do. Right. Funny thing is though, in the original comics, they beat Shredder up in the first issue. Oh really? Yep, they killed them. Oh. Like the tur the turtles was killing motherfuckers up in the original black and white comics. And they used to drink beer and swear and stuff. Oh. Like, it wasn't until the cartoon to where they just became, oh, pizza aficionados. They just love eating pizza and saying dude and all that shit. Mm -hmm. They wasn't playing. Yeah, I don't like they wasn't. <laughs> yeah, they always had the little white look in their eyes, too. They always be like, who we gonna kill next? But yeah, guys, um, there you have it, man. A S and an A+. Plus. Really enjoying this show, man. It just... Took it up to a whole nother level. I'm liking how this shredder is. Yeah. Shout outs to Kevin Michael Richardson. This is the guy that does the voice of Virgil's dad that plays Shredder. He's playing Shredder up in this. You remember Virgil's dad from um Static Shop? Oh, okay. Yeah. Mr. Hopkins. Right. Yeah. I always love hearing Kevin Michael Richardson and stuff. He's in everything, you know. But yeah, that's gonna do it for us today, guys. Uh we hope you enjoyed this reaction because as always we have a blast reacting to them with you and for you. If there's anything that we have missed or may have gotten misconstrued, be sure to provide the proper context in the comment section below without spoiling us. And yeah, this is your boy RBG, aka the random black gamer. My girl Jenna Lee on the ones and twos. We ain't seen the reactions. We'll catch you guys on the next reaction too. TMNT 2012 edition. Booyaka Shah. Peace.